Hello, I'm Sioka Hoshi, and welcome to Anime Retrospect, where we take a look at past anime that have come and gone. Today we are watching the 20th episode of Fighting Foodons. Now, in the last episode, Chase was distraught by the death of Fruit Turtle, and so he decided to no longer be a food on chef, and then he and his friends wandered to this house out in the middle of the woods that was owned by a former colleague of Chef Jack's known as Davy Gravy because he had a shrimp food on on hand and they were hoping to maybe borrow it because... They apparently needed this shrimp food on in order to create their own food on deluxe. Uh, since Fruit Turtle's gone and they need something to defeat King Gorge with. However, uh, the final uh, food on general, Grill, managed along with Claudia, managed to track them down to this to Davy Gravy's house, and they nearly got their asses handed to them by a mac and cheese tank. <laughs> And then uh, they were also trying to look for the fourth food on, which was necessary to create the food on deluxe. And it turned out that shock of all shocks, it, that the meatballs were the final ingredient needed to make the food on deluxe. And so then uh, by that point, Chase manages to snap out of his moody funk and then thus he is able to put together the food on deluxe, which literally was... A combination of fried ricer, sir dumpling, shrimp daddy, which was the shrimp food on owned by Davy Gravy, and the meatballs, and creating this western style dragon with a tray around its neck known as Feastivus. And it managed to beat the crap out of the mac and cheese tank and send Grill running away like a coward. So let's watch the 20th episode of Fighting Food Ons and see where this goes. Back in cheese tank. Don't worry, Chef Grill, you can count on me. Yeah, well, Claudia has a history of screwing things up, so don't rely on her. What's this? Wait, they actually show what food ons are on those cards? Oh hey Jumbolidia! What the hell is she doing all the way out here? Oh god. Oh god. Not the kawaii eyes of the old people. Ugh. Okay. Oh, mayonnaise. I get it. If the gluttons know that you're a dish wizard, then you're pretty much famous. Yeah, who knew? I'm starting to notice a pattern here. A lot of meat. Hey! Coco's actually using her walk to cook something for once, instead of just hitting things with it or surfing on it. Shiny! Oh yeah! What? What? A food on that can actually change shape and disguise itself as literally anything and anyone. How is that even possible? No matter what I say, the food on designs are never gonna make sense. And yet it still amazes me what they're able to come up with. Just wait till you guys see what's inside this bag. It really is amazing. <laughs> come on, take a real good look. <sighs> My god, you meatballs are so stupid. How do you easily mistake in that for Kayla? She has horns, not real buns. Hey, meatballs! And that's why your plan didn't, is not gonna work, Claudia. Really? Albert with dark hair. Yeah, nobody's gonna suspect a thing. I just got the coolest thing you've ever seen. In fact, it's so cool, I have to lock it in this box so no one sees it. Is that really Albert? He has darker hair than usual. Must have gone to the nearest, uh, hair salon and got his hair dyed or something. Uh, Claudia, keep your voice down. You're making it really obvious. God, Mouse, you're not even trying to be subtle. There, that's how you catch them. Only reason you got away with it is because the meatballs are full of- Oh, you missed one. Yeah, it's like they're so totally identical except for the fact that their hair color is different. Seriously, how do you not see the difference? Most mouth-watering omelets in the world. 
I didn't know that. That's a shit ton of eggs. Why? That seems unnecessarily complicated, Chase. Whee! Yeah, it's pretty obvious who's the fake. The fact that you guys have to do a fucking contest to figure out who the fake is shows how dumb you guys are. All in a day's work. Presenting the real Albert! What? Why did you do that? Uh oh, he's in big trouble. Yeah, no shit, Claudia. So what is mouse special supposed to be? Like a literally cooked mouse? Or is it supposed to be chocolate mousse? I don't get it. Don't announce yourself, dumbass. Aren't you having a little bit of trouble holding onto those? Kidnapping them! Did, did you really think you could hold all those meatballs by yourself? Oh no. Oh jeez, another pig monster? So was that like meatloaf combined with knight armor? Jesus, it packs a punch. They don't need to keep showing her making the dish when she's already made them. Well, nope. <laughs> Mace beats rope. <laughs> so I wonder who's gonna pay for all the property damage. Wait, what the hell's that? Oh, is that oil? Hey, that's actually a pretty good one. Oh, god damn it, a tail? Really? You had an almost perfect disguise mouse special, and then you screwed it up with a fucking tail. Oh, right. You must have pretty good eyesight there, shaking Bacon, because I wouldn't have been able to see them. Keep hitting them. You'll eventually hit one of them. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> are you serious? It still has the horns! What are, are you shitting me? Yeah, that's right. Cog that mouse special. Oh, no. <laughs> Yes! Duh! <sighs> Wait, what? Shaken Bacon was actually Jumbolydia's food on? And its real name was originally Porky Oh, why? Why must you torture me so fighting food on? So what do they do? Just give Porcupine a shit ton of steroids or something? Oh no! Are we- are we about to have cat stew? That was a bad joke. Oh no! Well, this is not good. Guess you shouldn't have spilled so much oil. Good job, Shaken Bacon! Wait, what? Yeah, but what the hell are they doing? Did the meatballs, like, literally carve a path through the fire just simply by absorbing the heat? I don't think that's how that works. Oh, and there's conveniently rain. Boy! <sighs> Yay! Well, some of the fields got burnt. Yeah, that's basically gonna be his prison sentence. Huh. Well, okay then.